So for those of you who are new to the channel, I mean, we try to get every kind of you know treasure. If I hear some silver or something, I'm gonna dig it, but we're here to get gold, baby. So see this nice tree here? Well, and here's the water. A lot of people when it's real hot like to come lay under this tree, so I'm gonna start here, see if I can find a gold ring. Okay, it's raining like crazy. Everything's super muddy. I didn't get a specific date off this because it's just so muddy. My hands are just caked, but I got a really deep silver signal dug down. This is like a 1920 weedy or something like that. Okay, looks like we have our first good find. Some sort of little earring. It's like a musical note. Let's see if I can find a mark on it anywhere. Well, I don't see a mark jumping right out at me, but hey, we're in the jewelry. All right, looks like we got another ring. This was a 60, and it was screaming right on top. But, looks like a blinger. I guess it could be silver. Nah. It's a blinger. But, back on the jewelry. Look at this guy poaching my rings over here. Doesn't even have the courtesy to like go to the other side of the park. Look at that shit. Frickin' encroachment. Yeah, I just got a little piece of jewelry. I don't know what it is. We'll clean it up later. Okay, just a few feet away. Looks like I got another piece that's similar to that last one. So this must be a bracelet or something. I bet you we'll find some more pieces here in a sec. Okay, I don't know what I got here. But it was a solid 47.48, so this might be gold. Or a piece of a bolt tab. <laughs> well, I just found some sort of cool little broken pin that looks like a soccer ball. So, one thing I've learned about hunting rocks like this, and I have a place that's even rockier, like bigger rocks. Generally, if you hear a signal, you should dig it because what happens is the coins kind of slip down in between the rocks. And so a lot of your signals are on edge. So if you're doing this kind of lake beach rock hunting, you just got to go for it. If you're waiting for that perfect signal, you're probably going to miss a lot of stuff. All right, I'm going to try to show you an example. So right there is where I just grabbed that wheat penny. See how I just got kind of some trash there? And then all of a sudden, the tone got a lot better. Let's see if it is
can't see it. Oh, I think it's that. Well, that time I wasn't anything good, but could have been something. Okay, I'm taking a little break from the lawn still, and I'm down on the bank. I just got a piece of a ring or toe ring or something. It's got little flowers on it. I can't tell if it's silver or not. It did ring up like it was silver. Kind of has that silver look, doesn't it? Well, I'll have to test it when I get home. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that because this thing is so crusty. But anyways, I'm working our lake edge. It's just starting to get low. And I just got me an Indian head penny. It's real crusty though. See what we got. I think it's gonna say 1906. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so check it out. It gets a lot lower than this. But I thought I'd give it a little shot today because I get paid off. Boom. On the wheat. Let's see if I can get a date. It's like 1954. Got a pretty cool little car. Surface fine though. You're right, another little car. This one looks like it's some sort of ambulance. Rescue. <laughs> 